thanks for tuning in. Well, it's Sunday, half past three in the afternoon. We all know what Sundays mean now, Hammerheads. Sunday song recommendation time again, isn't it? Oh, of course it is! I've got a bad head, stop clapping. Right, this week's band are English, formed by an American. Yeah, Ooh. it doesn't make much sense, but... Yeah, formed by Stuart Copeland in January 1977. Cos, like, the demise of prog rock band curved air. Demise. British prog rock band, band, when Stuart Copeland was a drummer in them. And, you know, punk was coming up. And uh, no wave. <clears throat> that was the way forward at the time in the late seventies. Pro rock. They were all dying. All these bands splitting up and all that. So he was on his own, Stuart Copeland, and he thought, I know, I'll form another trio. So he got Sting together, Gordon Sumner from Wild's End, just doing the road from me. Wild's End. Way. It's a few miles away. Well, I used to get out with ass from Wild's End. God, she was so fucking boring, huh? <laughs> she used to have me babysitting her kids on a Friday night when she went to bed. You know, playing Scrabble all night with them and all that, and then she'll get up the next day, you neglected me last night. No, cos you went to fucking bed, you boring bitch. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about the tangent. Yep, the police. <laughs> went to I can't find this. I've got it somewhere, but I can't find it. The album, I mean. Outlanders, Amor or something. See? Out of all their albums I made, they only made four or five. I can only pronounce one. And that was Synchronicity too. The others all had French titles, not Regatta da Blanc and fucking... Regatta. Whatever. And, uh, anyway, this... Quite a rare single, right? Blue vinyl. Blue. They didn't make many of these. God. And I have the lyric sheet. Oh. Lyric sheet G in there. Garadoot. Nice to have lyrics. And um, I'm not, you know, mate, I don't play well known songs on this program. It isn't that song I am going to recommend. It is the B side Dead End Job. Very, like, fast and punky kind of song. You know, because Stuart Copeland, he was more in... He was getting into all this punk and new wave. He, he knew that what was big at the time. And Sting, on the other hand, he come from a, like, jazz kind of background, so he didn't know much about stuff like that. So all the lyrics and the songwriting and most of the writing overall was left to Stuart Copeland. He wrote all the early stuff, especially the B-sides. Most of their early B-sides were always dead punky and new wavy, like this one, for instance, Dead End Job. I think most of us can relate to that song, Hammerheads. <laughs> if you, the lyrics are on the um, video that I shall leave the link to down below, so wrap your ears around it. And uh, well, I like the cover, mate. I mean... Strange. I mean, that's the cover, I mean, the, 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 the A side, you know, can't stand losing you. A Big block, of, block ice. of ice, electric fire, slowly melting it, and he's hanging himself slowly. God, Horrible way to go, but then on the back, good, the it? ice is melted and the photos fell down. <laughs> 1978. 1978. And um, I've been to hell trying to find this fucking single. I mean... You know Miles Copeland the third, he was in the CIA and No, Miles Copeland the third was Stuart Copeland's brother, but Miles Copeland Jr. he was in the CIA and this, that and the other, lots of things and lots of different pies. And anyway, <laughs> it's a bit useless information. But I have been everywhere look for that fucking dead end job, the B side of Car Stan Lou's new. Just come this way, I'll I'm gonna sh have you got to, you've got to fucking see this, right? Oh, you've got to Lord. fucking see this. <sighs> the trouble I've been to to try and find this fucking single. Right then. See you here, right? Give me a little torch on. 
See, here's a big box here, right? There's lots of videos and all sorts of shit in here. All these fucking singles in there, right? Hundreds of them. Hundreds of 45s. And, box below, some more fucking singles. Not in there either. So, I went in my bedroom, didn't I? And there we are. Look at all these. It was amongst this lot. I mean, I must have about 1,800 to 2,000 fucking singles in this place. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Sharp and Newman. Prince. Sham 69. Hurry up, Harry. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> 20 number six. Ah, my mum used to smoke them. <coughs> A perno ashtray and that. <laughs> Nostalgic, eh? Tags of Pantang. Lots of rare stuff in here. Anyway, it was amongst that lot. And in the end, I found the song I was looking for. <sighs> what pub should we go to then? Oh. See you later, hammerheads! Oi, mate! I'm trying!